Bam Rodriguez looks sensational on his way to a three-round stoppage of his interim champion, Pedro Guevara, to his WBC championship, you know, this past Saturday, man. Three rounds route. Check what he said after he demolished Pedro Guevara. How interested are you in taking on Gonzalez? I'm ready for it. If the unifications don't come, why not? Stop it. Get some help. What would it mean to you to take on the last of these four kings from that flyweight era? That'd be badass. Take them all out. Take them out of where, Bam? Out of retirement just to put him back in man come on man this man chocolatito's pro debut was in 2005 bam Rodriguez was born in 2000 he was five years old when he started stop it get some help leave the old man alone man but guess what it's a little bit easier to do so right because according to bam he wants to prioritize unifications well puma martinez is here to oblige What did he say? Come on now, you know I got you with the translation. He basically said, you saw me fight with Ioka and now he doesn't mention me anymore. Why don't you say my name? You don't want to fight me? After Ioka on December 31st, I'm ready for you. Don't you want to unify? So that means we're going for the unifications, right? Right. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. So as you saw in the intro, you know, Bam Rodriguez beat the interim champion to this WBC belt, which Bam Rodriguez has a full championship, right? He beat him in three rounds, a three-round route demolition, man. Great, phenomenal fight, man. You know, another awesome performance by Bam Rodriguez on the undercard of Boots versus Karen Chikadze in rematch, you know? Now, you know, at the end of the fight, he said he wants to unify or potentially fight Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, the legend, right? The legend who has over 50-something fights. Damn! Who's also 37 years old. Damn! Who has also been a little bit inactive, you know what I'm talking about? So with all that inactivity, somehow, some way, he has been boosted to number one in the rankings for the WBC belt. Yes, he's in the mandatory position. So as Bam Rodriguez has put it himself, he wants to unify. That's the priority. But don't be surprised if we see Bam Rodriguez, Jesse Bam Rodriguez fight his icon, his uh, fight the icon, his idol, Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez, because the old man wants it. Now, sometimes we got to protect the fighters from themselves. And I personally don't think that Bam Rodriguez should fight Roman Gonzalez like Chris Manis asked him, you know, take out the last one of the four kids of the previous era what would it mean to you to take on the last of these four kings from that flyweight era well leave them alone man let the old man go and chill man i don't want to see that beat down you know he's been taking out legends but they've been well past their heyday you know what i'm saying now i'm not implying that chocolatito is going to be a pushover no he's a legend he's an icon but a lot of times these great fighters you know what i'm saying like chocolatito gonzalez yeah. like Mike Tyson, yeah. like Manny Pacquiao and so many others, they fight too long, well past their prime, you know, and, and then we start to see these fighters kind of lose to fighters that they probably wouldn't lose to, you know, in, in, in natural circumstances in their prime or even close to their prime, you know, but, but Bam Rodriguez is a great fighter and I think that this fight will be interesting. Of course, I'd watch it, but I just don't want to see the legend Tyler Tito go down like that. You know, I would like to see him unify, you know, even I'm going to tell you the truth too. I know we've been flirting around with him fighting Naya anyway, which I think is a little bit too much that's a little far-fetched he's two weight divisions above him he's at 122 super bantamweight, weight you know and he's and, and bam Rodriguez at junior bantamweight. weight but the more realistic one they've been teased has been juto nakatani but i would still say pump your brakes for me personally i like for fighters to unify or even seek undisputed but at, at the very least at a minimum unify first before we talk about moving them up and down divisions to fight the other undefeated fighters up there case in point juto nakatani at 118 bantamweight. weight there's three other champions. Yes, three other champions. He's not unified. There's no unifications there at all. You have Seiya Tsutsumi, who just beat uh, Takuma in a way. Now you're in a way's younger brother. He's undefeated with his belt. Yeah. You know, you also have Ryosuke Nishida. Yep, you guessed it. He's undefeated as well. Yeah. And then you also have Yoshiki Takei. Yep, you guessed it again. Undefeated. And then, of course, Junto Nakatani. Undefeated. Yeah. So why not prioritize unifications there before we switch domains now let's go back to bam rodriguez you know who's the subject in the topic of today's video right bam rodriguez undefeated champion right guess what 
nobody's <laughs> unified down there. Fernando Puma Martinez, the Argentinian fighter, he was unified, but he relinquished his title because he wanted to seek a more lucrative deal with the rematch against Kazuta Ioka, you know, which makes sense, you know, from a revenue standpoint, you know, so shout out to him. Then we have Fumalele Kafu, the South African, who just beat um, Kosei Tanaka, right? So, you know, he's also undefeated. So that's three undefeated champs if you, champs if you include Bear Rodriguez. Like I said, the IBF title is vacant because uh, um, um, Fernando Puma Martinez decided to vacate. But the great news is that Fernando Martinez may be looking a little head, looking a little far ahead, maybe jumping the gun, the gun a little bit, but he has challenged Bam Rodriguez. He said, hey, man, you know, you want to fight? Let's get it in. You want to unify? Let's get it in. You know, you haven't been calling out my name like you were before. You know, what happened? You a little scared? Nigga, you was a bitch. You little shaking in your boots now, let's be honest. I'm going to be honest. I think that Bam Rodriguez should be the favorite, would be the favorite, and quite frankly, is the favorite against any other champions at 115. However, I still think that they're good fights. I think that Fernando Puma Martinez would give him a good fight. And I also think uh, Fumalele Cafu would give him a good fight. You know, so I, I would like to see unifications first, at least unify two belts. And then maybe let's talk about him fighting potentially Juto Nakatani. And same with Juto Nakatani. Let him unify first. Of course, the more appealing, intriguing matchup would have been Junto versus Takuma Inoue. But Takuma Inoue, like I said, he lost to Seiya Susumi. So... Go ahead and you still unify there before we talk about Junto and potentially Nai anyway. That's just me. I like the natural progression of things. And it, and it gives the fighters a, a more opportunity to grow into their own and, and, and you know, demonstrate their dominance in their own division before you talk about rushing them to go fight other fighters that are undefeated when they have business to handle in their crib. You know what I'm saying? At the crib, at their home, in their division that they're currently in. So I would prefer that. I would prefer all that <laughs> over Roman Gonzalez, Chocolatito, you know, but I, I'm going to be honest, man. For some reason, because like I said, for Fernando Martinez is occupied with Kazuto Ioka, the rematch, you know, and then Fubalele Cafu, he just beat Kosei Tanaka. So for some reason, you know, with Cafu being relatively unknown, I have a feeling that Chocolatito is going to get it, man. And we going to see Bam Rodriguez put the bam and the bang and the boom. Bow, 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 on Chocolatito, man. So I just don't want to see that, but it is what it is, man. It's boxing, right? What can you do? Y'all let me know in the comments, what would you rather see? Would you rather see Bam Rodriguez versus Junto, Bam versus Chocolatito, or one of the other champions, including Fernando Martinez or Fumalele Cafu, in his division at 115 right now? Which one do you prioritize? But, you know, also, don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, remember with God, we can do anything without God or nothing. The doctor's out. Peace! Bam Rodriguez, stop picking all the guys at the retirement home, man. Oh, my neck! My back! My neck and my back! From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.